sparkling and it's bright. It's found in many cosmetics, but scientists are now calling it a global hazard. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee shows us the reason why they want to ban glitter. They're tiny and sparkly and making their way down drains all over the world. Manufacturers of glitter, they know that they're creating them out of synthetic Materials, it's not always plastic, but some of it is. Glitter, considered a category of microplastic, is under the microscope. Scientists saying they're a danger to our waterways and marine life. Not only the particles themselves, but the toxins within the plastic and that are attaching to the plastics that can then leach into the tissues of the animals. It's not going to hurt my feelings because it sticks to everything. Dwayne Bailey also thinks plastic is here to stay. I don't think you're going to see plastic-free society. The push comes after a ban on microbeads, exfoliating balls of plastic commonly found in face and body wash. Manufacturers were forced to stop putting them in products this year, and by 2018, they have to be off the shelf. Polyethylene is the word that would be on the ingredients label. Lara Milligan, a natural resource agent for the UF Pinellas Extension Office, says folks need to be looking at their cosmetic labels, just like they do with food labels. Now, the county wants you to test the water in your own backyard. It's super easy. Rinse your container out three times with the water that you're testing, then move over just a little bit, dip the container in parallel to the water, fill it all the way up, and then quickly replace the cap to cut down on contaminants, you can pick up one of these containers at the Brooker Creek Preserve. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.